Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we found ourselves at the Metalworks factory where the Crooked Man was hiding out along with his right hand I would assume, Bloody Mary. Things got real as we broke out into a fight, uh, that being us and Bloody Mary, where she revealed her true form and we revealed our true form as the big bad wolf and boy he was big. but. We overcame Bloody Mary, beating the shit out of her and killing her, and confronting the crooked man and bringing him to the apartment, the, the, the apartments, the, well, yeah, I guess the woodland apartments underneath, I guess the basement is where the witching well is, to stand his trial uh, in front of the rest of the community. So, let's do it. We were worried. Uh, actually, let me just re restart from the main area. Sorry, guys. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the Crooked Man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Get a little bit of a okay? hawk tooie. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. And after what happened with Mary... What? Don't I look okay? I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say for yourself? Where the yourself? fuck do you get Those off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Well, is it? Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> yeah, you want to do this by the book? Then we're going to do this by the fucking book. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike Oh my god, get off book. of it. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? 
The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it, But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really going this to let is him about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Go ahead. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit! You've once. always been a bit of a powder keg. That's not it what he said. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I wouldn't call that help. Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, Left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Uh, we, we didn't, didn't uh... abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor. No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want She that? made a mistake. Is that true? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. 
We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. How the tables have turned. Oh, of course he's got to start clapping. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Uh. That's enough. So... You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know- The laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to- no. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Again, with the antagonizing, the vilifying. You had the Tweedles, the Jersey Devil... Georgie Porgy and bloody fucking Mary come after me. The big bad wolf. Even though we're trying to do the right thing. We are the appointed sheriff. And everyone's coming to us for help. Everyone's been begging me to kill this fucker. <laughs> he 
He's good. Like, either these people are fucking dumb. Who will be the Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me. I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Little What's one? she doing here? I'd like to. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I know Nerissa! Your... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! And now, I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you! What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will she be has more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. There been enough I don't care. So we already. get rid it's of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just- do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So our options are rip his head off, throw him down the well, or lock him up. I'm not going to rip his head off. Because I feel like that's like the the evil thing to do. Throw him down the well. I don't even know what that means. Like, does it just mean he blinks out of existence? Or lock him up?
You know what? I feel like too many people have died already. I'm comfortable locking them up. I'm probably going to be in the minority uh, in that in that decision. But I'm okay with that. Again, the type of character I'm going for, strict but sympathetic, by the book. Like, I guess if I'm really, truly going by the book, if he ordered people to be killed, he deserves a death sentence. But again, I feel like too many people have died already. I'm gonna lock him up. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh shit. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me. When you try to sleep, finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right. Do it. Are you gonna tell us what it is? <laughs> oh, what a year. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, great. This fucking line. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. that Colin weapon Muffet that's so funny little miss Muffet sound on tough it eating records away long came a spider and said that was that. yeah okay there we go Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. 
But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. So... <laughs> what is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Uh... And a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Look, Toad. How many fucking ch Since the first episode, since the first thing we ever said, you've been warned. We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? You were warned, man. Going out in public. Saying goodbye? Hi. 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 You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. So you're the reason they died? I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... 
Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said- I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. Shouldn't have lied, though. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Yeah, I, I, I believe I called that a few videos ago. About, uh, I forget exactly what the context was, like why I brought it up, but I was saying that like someone had to have left the head at our doorstep to get us on the path, like to, to have a start an investigation. You know what I mean? Because otherwise we would never have known. Because like even Holly was saying that, uh, you know, Lily, when she mentioned Lily was missing, we never even, the office never even considered looking into it well i don't want to say never consider but we we never looked into it until a body was found until ed was found so it was nerissa that did it i walked her over here and i left her just hoping that maybe if i couldn't save them could at least oh yeah the fabric the rest of us so that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah, I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you, you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence and the world likes it that way. We just fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not, That's not true. true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason, and I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. You like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little bird. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Go after her. I'll see you around. That's where it ends. So in case you didn't catch what happened there at the end. 
um, it's heavily insinuated that the lady that uh, we stopped the woodsman from hurting in the first episode is the same person that just walked away from us right now because she was saying a lot of the same things. We can't know for sure, but it's heavily insinuated. And here's the other thing. We can't necessarily know who it is. Is it actually Faith? Is it actually Lily? Is it someone else entirely just using a glamour? She says she's a Little Mermaid. I don't know if Nerissa is the original name for the Little Mermaid. I just know her as Ariel. So who knows? I really, really hope it's addressed in the sequel. All right, let's see how we did. What did you What did you do to Georgie? You and 68.6% of players killed Georgie. Did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89.6% of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. How did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 47.4% of players chose to imprison the Crooked Man. So again, that's actually the majority because we had the three options, right? We had the imprison, knock him down the well, or rip his head off. I wish you could see like the actual, um, like a. I wish you could see like a bar graph to see like how many, like what percent of people chose what, not just how many people agreed with you, but you know, the the full thing. There's no way to click on it, is there? No. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? Ninety-eight point five percent. Who's gonna say no? I was gonna say fuck you like why why wouldn't you accept it what were your last words to Narissa? i hope i've done some good here that's actually really uh that's a really touching ch uh, player choice to bring up Ooh, special stats. Okay. So with Beast, I lied to him about seeing Beauty outside the apartment. Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her outside the apartment. You impressed her with your detective skills. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Did we? I think we tried. We pulled him away and we tried fighting, but then Snow walked in. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You help him to avoid the farm. Crooked man, you took him back to the witching well. You imprisoned him. Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. You know, a lot of good that did. Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. I did. I tried. Yeah, as I said, these are uh, the fable. Uh, the Wolf Among Us is based on a comic series called Fables, as I mentioned in the beginning. Um, I've only really read a few of the graphic novels, but they're like. They stopped for a while and then they picked up again, I think a few years back, maybe like five or six years back. <clears throat> Cause this was actually written, was it written in like the eighties and nineties? Something like that. Okay. And that is the end of the Wolf Among Us. Um, you know, going through this game again, like, <sighs> I just can't help but fall in love with this game all over again. Like, as I said, I I remember the main story, but I've forgotten a lot of the finer details, you know? Um, I kind of remembered, like, as each setting came up, like, what would happen. But there were some things I, I kind of forgot. Like, I knew at, at the end of this, like, for, at the end of the game, I knew that Nerissa was going to say something that was going to... She was going to say something profound, but I completely forgot what it was. You know, even uh, entering, like, the Metalworks uh, in the last episode. I knew what was going to happen. I just don't remember how it was going to happen. You know what I mean? Shit like that. But the story is... 
it's it, this is my favorite Telltale story, as I said. It, it's what got me hooked onto the the Telltale um, like play style. Um, again, like I haven't played too many of them. Um, I I have played like the first season of Walking Dead. Uh, I've played both seasons of Batman. Um, and I uh, what else have I played? I think there was one more that I played. Um, I can't remember. I think I started on the Borderlands one, but I didn't get too far. I'm not the biggest Borderlands fans anyway. Biggest Borderlands fan anyway, but yeah, this to me this is the best one that they've done by far. It was it's this is the kind of story that speaks very much to me. And I'm I'm so excited uh for the sequel. Um from what I've seen, I, like, I they haven't shown too much, but it it looks somewhat the same, like the the art style is the same, but it looks sharper. It looks a little bit more detailed, because this is fairly simplistic with like a lot of heavy blacks, um, you know, uh, a lot of like neon lighting, that kind of thing. It just looks a little bit sharper. Um, and I've actually seen uh, a couple of cosplays that look fantastic. Like they colored in um, like the shirt to make it look like like oh if I find it I'll post it up on the screen, but it's it's amazing like, the kind of cosplays uh, people come up with for this game. Um, and again, like it, to me for good reason, it's it's a really strong detective story, uh, very strong noir story, which is again fairly big thing for the for the 80s I feel like the 80s is kind of like the end of the noir like the actual noir saga you know not saga but like era um, anything 90s and uh, newer is kind of like neo-noir so uh, modern noir post po uh, modern noir is that a thing neo-noir I guess is what I'm trying to say like Blade Runner Blade Runner, the original, is very noir, and the the twenty what is it twenty forty seven, um, or whatever it's called, I forget. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm just rambling at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Um, I'm I'm very sad it's at its end, but uh, you know had to end sometime. Uh, I'll be sure to play uh, the sequel when it comes out. I'm saying when, not if. Um, it looks like, it, again, it's going to be like early 2025, maybe mid-2025, but we'll see how that goes. But I'm definitely going to uh, be playing it when it comes out. It is episodic, um, so it does come out, I think, every, like, one episode every two months, something like that. Um, but we'll see how it goes uh, when the time comes. Thank you guys so much for watching the playthrough. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.